What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys 10 to 11 tweaks that works from iOS 12.0 to 12.1.2. So this is with the rootless jailbreak and it works from the iPhone 7 all the way up to iPhone iPhone 6s all the way up to the iPhone 10. It doesn't work for the A12 devices, it doesn't work for the iPhone 5s and the iPhone 6. But there is a jail, it has been updated but this version that I'm using isn't updated yet. So whenever that is I'll let you guys know in the in the description but I think the IPA is floating around but this one I got from Ignition so yeah and this is with the rootless jailbreak I'm gonna show you guys 10 to 11 tweaks I'm show you guys how to install the last one just in case so as you can see my phone is jailbroken and this is my main phone right here still on iOS 12.1.2 so whenever the uncovered jailbreak is released with fully working city and all that kind of stuff I'll make a video using my main phone but for now I'm using my secondary phone right here so the first tweak I want to show you guys is called hide labels if you look I don't have any labels under my icons so that's the first one it's just called hide labels and you download it and you set it up so this is this isn't using Cydia so the process is a little bit um, extensive so I'm gonna show you guys at the end how to do it but yeah the first one is called hide labels and then the other one is called bye bye hood so if you don't want this like volume thing in the middle of your phone look you have it right to the left if you see in the left corner right there it shows you the percentage and you could actually go in the settings and you guys could set it up how you like it so have the bar view like that or I could do the there's the bar view And then that one a little different, but I use I like this one, the minimal view, just like that. So yeah, that one is called bye bye hood. And then the other one is called cylinder, which is one of the staples of the jailbreaking. You can see that right there. You can see they go up and down. And you could go also go back into settings. And you could set it up however you like. You could switch it. So I have it on that one. Let's go that one. Wiping off, so it's kind of just going backwards. Let's go to another one. What's going on? This is because it's not doing. See, they kind of get big. Just you, you know, guys know you guys know what cylinder is. So yeah, that's the other one, and the other one is called double tap lock. So if you want to lock your phone, just double tap on an empty space and your phone will lock, go straight to the lock screen just like that, that one is called double tap lock and the other one is called animation be fast so if I open up a folder, you see how quick that is if I go to, if I, if I go to the lock screen and the phone's open it just like pops open real quick like some of the animation doesn't work like the ones for like the, the settings but like the cover sheet when you close your phone it just pops open, the folder pops open just like that if you want to speed up the animation on your device that's one way to do it and it's called animation be fast that's it right here, you could enable it and the respring doesn't work so if you want to respring you're going to have to use rootless installer right here so I'm sure you guys how to do that so yeah the other one is called animation be fast and the next one is called five column home screen five column home screen as you can see I have five apps across just like that that one is called five column home screen and then the other one is called five column dock XI so five column dock XI you can see in the dock I have five not good just like that I got extra one down there and I have five in the dock this is how I like my setup when I set up my real my main phone this is how it's gonna look with five across and five in the dock that's how I like it and then the other one is called cask cask if I go to settings you can see when I scroll down it has that effect like that so that one is called cask just like that it's real cool I mean you could actually switch up the effects 
you could go right in here and you could switch it up to any one of these so or you could put it on none so that one is called cask and then the other one is called dark module ccxi so if i go to my control center you can see everything is kind of dark so even when i do the volume you can see the volume on this one is kind of white so you want to turn up the brightness and all that kind of stuff it's dark it's not like that so if you want to have that you see it goes up and down but it's not as bright as that one same thing with the volume and the brightness and all that kind of stuff so that's what that one does it's called dark module ccxi and then the other one is called no beta alert so this phone right here is on ios 12.1.1 beta 3 12.1.1 beta 3 because 12.1.1 isn't being signed so I had to downgrade to the beta version and every time you basically open up your phone you will get this alert right here if you're on the beta it says a new iOS update is now available please update from iOS beta iOS 12 beta so you will get that every time you open up your phone if you're on the beta version so if you don't want that you have to download no beta alerts so when you open up your phone it's just like a regular phone you don't get that prompt to update you from the beta so that's a real cool one to have and remember iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 is still being signed so if you're on 12.1.3 or whatever it is you could still downgrade to the version to the beta version like I did and just get that and you won't get no prompts telling you to update so yeah that's 10 but I'm gonna show you guys another one how to install it and how to uninstall the tweaks so you can see down here number 11 is clear dock you can see the dock is completely clear so I'm gonna show you guys how to uninstall it and install the tweak so let's go right here so the, we're using we're using the rootless jailbreak from ignition so ignition the link to that will be in the description you could go there you could just search rootless and that's it right there iOS 12.0 to 12.1.2 I mean that's it. you could just install it and you'll be good then you also want to go to tweetbox and download rootless installer so you need both of those and after you get that you're good so to install the tweak you want to open up rootless installer hit in exploit and whenever everything turns yellow then you'll be good to go so you can see install and uninstall so you have to run the exploit for this to work so now you're good to go so I have the URL for the for the tweak like the dev file I'm gonna paste it in there I'm gonna hit done and I'm gonna uninstall the clear doc if I wanted to install it I would just hit install so you can see that so uninstall success remove tweak so you hit ok then you hit respring you will do the same process for installing install put in the same deb file and just hit install and now you can see it's no more clear doc just like that I mean so that's how you install and uninstall tweaks and to get the tweaks you will go to this website will be linked in the description you type in whatever tweak you want alkaline you hit search bunch of options should come up when it's done you can see them right there you tap on the one you want you scroll down to the version you tap on it and it'll go right here but it's giving me an error but if it worked you would go right here just copy this link right here and paste it into rootless so if I want to install the tweak again clear doc which I already have I'll go there hold up you want to hit exploit first and then it's gonna run the exploit I mean, so let it do its thing sometimes it crashes but it is what it is so when everything turns yellow down here then you're good to go just like that so now you got that you want to hit install hopefully it works because I like to hit the like to
paste it in afterwards. You see, set success. Now you hit respring. And now you can see the tweak work just like that. So this is the rootless jailbreak. You have you have to have both these toggled on, then you hit jailbreak. But every time you turn off your phone, you have to do this process again. You know what I mean, so let's open it up, hit that. It should work whenever you see the spinning wheel, you know it worked. If it just goes to the Apple logo, you know it did the tweet, the jailbreak did not work. But as soon as you see the respring wheel, and then you know you're in jailbreak mode and everything should work just like that so there you go guys Prince with ATP 101 showing you guys my top 11 tweaks and how to get them and the whole works so make sure to subscribe and like this video I know I haven't been making a lot of videos I've been busy with work but whenever the main jailbreak comes out for your main device expect that video rate comment subscribe peace thanks for watching